So one thing that I really want to talk about with, and this is Rob from Fandroid again, about the UI is there's some things I really like, there are some things I think are a little overboard, but um, let's start out with just the text. They've changed all the text, so if I go into the settings actually you'll be able to see, jump into settings, and you can see the list is much different, the text is different, everything's more cleaner, this text and font type is actually called Roboto, um, and everything is very, very clean. But another thing they've done is go with what they call magazine style. I almost want to call it the WebOS um, card style because you can see if I go to the settings, um, you have this, I agree, very magazine-like, but if you remember the Palm Pre um, cards with what you have uh, running and open and you can flick it and get it to, um, to no longer be used. So I like it, but it definitely reminds me of the Palm Pre, WebOS, but this is not only in, you know, your task menu of what you're doing, if you go to the browser, and this is pretty much apparent everywhere, it's in your browser, it's in contacts, and it looks like Wi-Fi is going to be acting up, um, so let me go back here and jump into contacts, um, well, let's see, <laughs> You've got contacts, and you can see it's a very clean style. If we go right, and there's only one person on here, but normally you'd have your top contacts in a really magazine, uh, in a magazine-ish style. So, pretty cool. Uh, I think there may be the magazine style in a little too many places. If we jump into a specific contact, you can see it attempts to kind of highlight them with this nice, big, beautiful picture as they displayed in the demo. But if the user doesn't have a nice, big picture in their profile themselves, then that's going to pose a problem sometimes. So let's see if Andy Rubin in here. And you can see there's a picture of Andy Rubin, and it's got all his stuff kind of laid out nice and neat. Um, and let's go to menu, and you can see this provides a quick jump to everything we're doing. And again, can let's go to <laughs> Messenger. Uh, a couple other things that they've changed with the UI, but or kept the same, I guess you could say, is widgets and apps are on the same dock, so you can easily just go ahead and add a. And that's not going to fit there, actually. Um, let's go to an empty screen real quick. And then go to... <laughs> you can go right there. And you can see also that you can stack things in, in a folder form, as you could before, but it's a little different now. Um, let me see if I can... I think you can... Add stuff. Oh, no. You can add what or change what is in this actual dock down here, which is pretty neat. So there's a lot of different stuff you can do, but in here, apps and widgets are definitely uh, grouped together, which is pretty cool. Let's see if there are any apps we weren't expecting in here. Books, browser, calculator, calendar. Oh, the browser, by the way, it's supposed to sync with your um, with your Google Chrome. I imagine it won't in this because uh, because this isn't connected to an actual Google Chrome account. So uh, that is a no go. But we get back to. The apps. See gallery, maps, market messaging. So it doesn't look like by default they've got anything too different in here. The calendar app's a little different, and again, it's much easier to tell this stuff if you've got this input with real live data, uh, which is why you know full reviews are so good because it provides real information and test circumstances. And there looks like there's a couple things in here. Pinch and zoom on the dates are really cool, um, so you can really hone in and see the details of certain events that are going on, um, depending on what you're trying to figure out about your calendar. So definitely like the new calendar inclusion. It looks like that's about it for the core apps that are built in. Um, let's talk a little bit about the camera though. 